One of the things I love most about Bay Chamber is how it brings us all together, students, teachers, and concert artists alike. Because of Bay Chamber, I've connected up with April and other teachers for several musical collaborations, and this Shostakovich cello sonata is certainly one of the most fun. The piano is often overlooked as a percussive instrument, but not by Shostakovich. This piece is full of percussive energy, and I especially enjoyed getting to use a hammer fist. Happy practicing! Hi, I'm April, the cello teacher from Bay Chamber Music School, and Matt Mainster and I have collaborated to bring you a movement from Shostakovich's Cello Sonata for the virtual faculty recital. Now, just a little bit about this piece. Um, Shostakovich wrote it for his friend and accomplished cellist, Viktor Kubatsky, in early 1934, shortly after the premiere of his incredibly controversial opera, Lady Macbeth, which ended up getting him censored by Stalin two years later. Shostakovich was also separated from his wife at the time that he wrote this, and uh, historians say that he actually sketched out the entire cello sonata in two sleepless nights. Um, the overall shape of this sonata is really similar to Beethoven's third cello sonata in A major. It's classically proportioned, incredibly lyrical through the first and third movements, and includes a scherzo-like second movement that is in A minor, just like the scherzo from Beethoven's third cello sonata. <clears throat> now, a fun thing to listen for during any of Shostakovich's music is this rhythm, which is said to signify the midnight knock on the door by the NKVD, which was the predecessor to the KGB. The rhythm is very present through the whole cello sonata, but in this movement, because we're in 3-4, Shostakovich elongated the rhythm to this. So that's something you can listen for while we play for you. We're very, very happy that we were able to bring this together. And it was really, really fun to, to put our parts together. Thank you for watching.
Thank you.